What is up, everybody? I'm gonna give y'all my review of the Avengers Age of Ultron, whether y'all like it or not, because I have an interesting take on this film. Unlike a lot of sequels, Avengers Age of Ultron, to me, was better than the first Avengers film. A lot of Age of Ultron was a lot more compelling than the first film. In the first film, it was very clear who was the villains and who was the superheroes in black and white terms. But in the sequel, there was a lot of gray. In Ultron's body neither. The real villain of the Avengers Age of Ultron was Tony Stark himself. Because he was the one that built the artificial intelligence in the first place. And he was about to do it again Probably with the vision because you never know if Jarvis was gonna, you know, say malfunction or just turn evil Thing about the vision like he didn't really do much. <laughs> he didn't really do much in the film I mean he was supposed to be the guy that Defeated Ultron that is strong enough as Ultron, but he didn't really do much and We didn't try to write in a love story between the Black Widow and the Hulk which was quite surprising to me as I didn't feel the chemistry wasn't there between those two that, that's just me you all used to like Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow performance but somehow she has an American accent but they gave Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch like Eastern European accents in the film and I was like hmm hmm was that the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were not mutants but genetically enhanced by Baron Von Stucker? Like the last film I reviewed, the humor in the Avengers Age of Ultron was quite appropriate and it lightened up the move throughout the film. I mean, this is like Josh Whedon's style of interpreting like com a lot of comedy with a mixing with a lot of action. I mean, you saw that in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The cool thing about the Avengers movie was the trailer Revealed a lot, but didn't reveal everything. So in the film, they're like, I was presently surprised by a lot of cameos by other superheroes in the film. And at the end of the film, where we see a certain big bad, which I won't mention right now. What we've seen, it obviously set up a third film, which will really not have Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man returning, or he'll be back in the cameo. So We'll see what happens. I definitely give Avengers Asia Ultron the green light to go see this film because if you want two hours of great superhero popcorn movie fun, then this is that type of film mixed in with a lot of great humor. Take on the film and this review on the comments below. Give me a like if you feel what I'm saying. If you dislike if you don't feel what I'm saying, please subscribe. Out.